Walt Disney, founder of the company that brought us all those movies that we grew up on. The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, and one of the more recent and popular titles, Frozen. But while Disney may be known for the catchy songs and magic, there are also some rather dark secrets to the name. Compiled here is a list of the top five creepiest Disney experiences. In December of 2004, Main Street USA, a popular user on a Disney forum board called Walt Disney World Magic posted an image depicting a boy looking back at him from the doom buggies of Disneyland's popular Haunted Mansion ride. While this on its own may not be that creepy, take into consideration that the poster of the image never saw any children in front of him while waiting to get on the ride. Allegedly, the ghost of a little boy haunts the ride, and whether you believe it or not, CNN did confirm that the family of a late seven-year-old boy who loved the ride did dump his ashes in it. But that's not all. Several of the guests witnessed a small boy crying near the exit of the ride, and when they tried to interact with him and get him to calm down, he didn't seem to take notice of them. However, when one of the guests contacted a cast member to come help the boy, he had seemingly vanished. And late one night, while waiting for a guest to enter the ride, a cast member claimed to hear a child laughing and then saw a movement in the corner of her eye, but when she turned to investigate, nothing was there. When Walt Disney was alive, he owned an apartment on the second floor of the firehouse building at Disneyland, where he spent most of his time while the park was being built. And supposedly, he never left this apartment even after his death. According to legend, Shortly after Walt's death, a maid was cleaning the apartment when she noticed that the lamp Walt always kept on in the apartment was lit. She turned it off and left the apartment, only to see it lit once again as soon as she left. Now, if I were in this situation, I would just keep walking, wouldn't you? That's not what she did. Instead of running, she walked back into the apartment and turned the lamp right back off. However, this time she didn't leave afterwards. And to her horror, the lamp lit itself again right in front of her. After her attempts, nobody has tried to turn off the lamp, and it is left burning to symbolize Walt Disney's everlasting presence in the park. Not much is known about this case, except that in the middle of operation on Disney went at the Small World ride, the lights were turned on and the ride was shut down. Guests on the ride were rushed out the door, and whenever anyone asked cast members what was going on, they were given vague and rushed answers. However, one guest happened to have her camera on her while on the ride, and decided to take a few pictures of the ride, hoping to catch a glimpse of what was going on in the shots. And sure enough, when she had the pictures developed, she noticed something hanging from the ceiling in her final shot. According to the story, a child apparently committed suicide while no one was watching, hanging there for an indefinite amount of time before a guest on the ride finally noticed. One of Disney World's more popular rides, Space Mountain, is allegedly haunted by the ghost of a man who died of natural causes while riding the ride in the early 1970s. Guests and cast members alike have nicknamed this ghostly passenger Mr. One-Way, because while he's been seen by riders boarding empty cars on the ride, he always disappears before the ride ends. He's described by witnesses as a large man having reddish hair and a red face. Not much else is known about this one, but here's a quick word of advice. Be sure to keep your friends close while riding Space Mountain, because if you happen to end up riding alone, you might end up riding with someone you don't want to. In the early 1970s, during Disney World's popular Pirate to the Caribbean rides construction, a welder named George was allegedly killed on the job. The details of his death are mostly speculation. Some say he was crushed by a falling beam, others say he fell from the top of the ride's burning city and plummeted to his death. But according to legend, strange things started occurring after he died. The ghostly apparitions were spotted by cast members, there were mysterious calls from the control room, and the ride occasionally stopped working for unknown reasons. 
While George isn't officially recognized by the park, cast members have been known to say a quick good morning or a good night to George depending on the time of day. Otherwise, George reveals himself and the strange occurrences start happening again. Or so goes the story. What do you guys think about this? Should I keep this as a regular segment on my channel or am I just stupid and wasting my time? Let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear what you have to say about these stories, what you thought of the video, all that stuff. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.